So this video goes over some more examples of trig identities. So let's try this warm up here. So I'm going to split them into left side and right side. I've got tan squared theta plus one and secant squared theta on the right. So I know that secant squared theta is actually one over cos squared theta. So I'm gonna do some work on the left side to see if I can get it to that. So let's write tan in terms of sine and cos. So sine squared theta over cos squared theta plus one. Now I wanna to go to one term. So now I'm gonna use a common denominator of cos squared theta. which is going to allow me to add my numerators together, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, all over cos squared theta, and then my numerator actually equals one, which means that my left side is equal to the right side, which means that tan squared theta plus one is equal to secant squared theta. So, Trig identities are not always easy, but here are some helpful strategies. So one we've been using a lot is sub all tan with sine x over cos x. Uh, second thing is look for places to apply the Pythagorean theorem identity. Uh, third, is common denominator to go from two terms to one term like we did in the warm-up. Uh, for you can also factor expressions to make them the same. Um, and lastly, if you get stuck, just try a different approach. Go back and try again. It's okay to get start to get stuck because your first method might not work. So let's try a couple more complicated examples. So here I've got sine theta plus sine squared theta over cos theta times one plus sine theta equals tan theta. Okay, nice complicated left side, pretty simple right hand side. So on my right hand side, all I'm gonna do is rewrite this as sine theta over cos theta. And then I'm going to see if I can get my left hand side to match that. So I've got sine theta plus sine squared theta all over cos theta times one plus sine theta. And then I'm going to see what I can do. So I don't want to expand the bottom really. I do notice that I could factor the top into sine theta times one plus sine theta. And then looking at that, I notice that I have a common factor on the top and the bottom that I can cross out, which means that I get to sine theta over cosine theta on the left-hand side, which means that my left side equals the right side. Example two, now I've got some reciprocal trig functions in here to make it exciting. So I'm gonna start off again by dividing my left side and my right side on my left side, I've got secant squared theta plus cosecant squared theta is equal to secant squared theta times cosecant squared theta. Yikes. What I'm going to try here is to see if I can get everything in terms of sine and cos. So I know that secant squared theta is 1 over cosine squared theta. And I know that uh, cosecant is 1 over sine squared theta, so that's fine. Now I'm going to add those using a common denominator. So my common denominator happens to be cos squared theta sine squared theta. Uh, not that nice, but doable. So I would end up with this expression here. So I've got sine squared theta times cos squared theta. I've effectively added those together. What I notice now on the top is that I can apply the Pythagorean identity and I get one over sine squared theta times cos squared theta, which is actually uh, cosecant uh, squared theta times secant squared theta, which is the same as my right-hand side. 
So now I can say that my left side equals my right side, and I've proven my identity. Let's do one more example. Here on my left side, I've got tan squared theta over 1 plus tan squared theta. And then I've got sine squared theta on the right-hand side. So my right-hand side, I'm going to leave alone. And my left-hand side, I'm going to write everything in terms of sine and cos. So on the top, I would have sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And then I would have 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Okay, so I mean, not all that great, but now I've got two terms on the bottom and I want to combine those into one term. So I'm going to do that using a common denominator. I've got cos squared theta plus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta. Maybe you can see where this is going. Uh, what I'm going to notice here is that I can apply the Pythagorean identity. I'm just going to go back and make sure I've rewritten my line correctly. On top, I've got sine squared theta over cos squared theta. So in the denominator, I can apply the Pythagorean identity. So now I've got sine squared theta over cos squared theta all over 1 over cos squared theta, which is actually going to simplify to sine squared theta, which equals my right-hand side. So therefore, my left-hand side equals the right-hand side, and I've proven my identity.